you are a very frugal, very frugal. You call yourself cheap. I say, <laughs> but you're a very frugal, frugal. Yeah. celebrity. Yeah. Like, like, how was it to come into a bunch of money and then like figure out, okay, well, in order to maintain and sustain wealth, yeah. I have to kind of pull back and have to reassume that level of, of wealth again. How is that? What is that process like? Man, you gotta you gotta learn as you go. Try to you gotta really get somebody to handle your money. Cause uh, uh, hard to trust people, Chris. Yeah, it is. Just sign your own people checks. People steal, man. Oprah told us that. People steal. You know what? But you know what? <laughs> That's true. That's true. And that 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 I understand that. But you gotta get you. I don't care if you search high and low. Make sure you sign your own checks. But get a team to handle your money if you get a lot of money, man. And, and they can't get it. And uh, of course, if they invest it, you got to get a piece of paper. That's, you learn. that's your stocks, or whatever it is. But learn it, man, right away because you can give away ten million dollars. So you can give away a hundred million dollars. You can give away a billion. That's how fast you can be back broke or with nothing. So you got to invest it. Can't leave it in the bank. The bank only insure a hundred thousand dollars. That's right. So you got to learn. Get with somebody who's been there, who got money. That's, the, tell, best, that's the best idea. I tell people all the time, man. If I have ten million dollars in the bank. I'm keeping a half a million dollars or maybe a, million, a half a million dollars over five banks, of course, and I'm putting the rest in property yeah. and, and, and commodities that I know will accrue, you know, the level of interest that is greater than, than, than I will get in putting it in a bank. Because yeah. if you leave it in the bank, all they're going to do is invest your money that's for That's right. They're making money off the bank, yeah. They're making money off you some yeah. kind of way. Yeah. I think that's a great that's a great tool. See, that's that piece of advice that people need to hear. Yeah. Especially yeah. young kids. Because young kids, you might be broke right now, but we never plan on making money. That's right. When we yep, be in our right. position, we plan on that. We'll make plans to die. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We'll yep. say, man, I might not make it to C21. I might, but what if you do? Yeah, that's right. And that's what right. if all your dreams come true and you ain't planned for that to be in that position? Yeah. Then yep. it's going gonna, it's gonna to escape you. That's right. That's and right. I know all the ladies want to know, man, why ain't Chris Tucker never got married? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, man. That's a good question. But I still got time. I, got, I still got time. So so you believe in love? Oh, yeah, man. I, yeah, yeah. Because at this point, yeah. Nah. It's just, it's, that's, 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 my, that's my next step for sure. So I still got time. Okay. And you got one kid. I got one son, yeah. One son, yeah. 21 years 21, old. 21, yeah. Uh, you liked him so much that you didn't want to have no more. I, you know what? I never, because I'm the youngest of six kids, so I thought okay. I would have a big family. Right. So I don't know how I just got one, one son, but, uh, you know. Wait, we'll, man. We'll see. I, I, just, I still got time for more. You absolutely got time for more, man. 